Hello friends. Today for word work, we have um, a new set of words that we are going to be practicing with, a new set of spelling words. The thing about all of these words in this week's set is that they have consonant digraphs, which means they have a CH, TCH, SH, PH, TH, NG, or WH. Now these sounds are multiple letters put together, like CH is two letters, but they have one sound that they make. So when I have CH at the beginning of a word, I know that that makes the TH sound. It's two letters that make one word. I know when I have that, I have a th sound, the TH. Two letters, but one sound that it makes. The consonant digraph in TCH is the still the t sound, but it does have that T there that doesn't make a sound of its own. It's more like a silent letter. I have sting, that ng sound. I have shape, sh, thin, trash, bring, phone, that ph makes an f sound, phone, and while, the w sound in the WH. So I have all words that have a consonant digraph. That could be at the beginning of the word, like in chop and that, or at the end of the word, like catch and sting. So in these areas, you're going to be sorting them based on the consonant digraph in the word. So you're not focusing on whether it comes to the beginning of the or the end of the word, just by which consonant digraph it has. So SH words, you'll put both of those right here. So since there are two lines, it lets you know that there are two words up here that have the sh sound. You have one word with the ch sound, one word with the w sound, and another word with the ch sound, but spelled T-C-H. Then you have up two words with the T-H sound, two words with the N-G sound, and one word with the P-H sound, sounding like f. So you're going to sort those onto their correct lines. At the bottom, you're going to read each group of words and circle the word that does not fit the pattern. So you're going to circle one word that doesn't fit. If I look at shape, chop, and trash, I'm going to circle chop because it doesn't have an SH sound like shape and trash do. It has a ch sound. Now I'm going to read all of these to you. And as I read, I want you to circle the word that does not fit. You have Phone, thin, that. So which one doesn't have the same consonant digraph? On number 13, you have sting, bring, while. So think about which one doesn't fit. Thin, catch, that. Trash, shape, sting. So think about which words do not fit. On the back side, we're working more with plural nouns and some different kinds of rules to make a word plural, focusing on nouns, person, place, or thing in specific. Up here it reads, a plural noun names more than one person, place, or thing. Most nouns add S or ES to make their plural form. Some nouns change their spelling to make their plural form, like foot, if I want to say more than one foot, I say feet. More than one tooth is teeth. More than one child is children. More than one man is men. More than one woman is women. More than one mouse is mice. So all these words change their spelling. They don't add an S or an ES or change the Y to an I and add ES. None of those rules apply here. They all change their spelling. So you'll have to look at these examples to know how to change the word in parentheses. Now read this sentence if I don't change the word in parentheses to a plural. Three child took a hike in the woods. That does not make any sense, does it? But I can look at my table up here and know that child is supposed to be spelled children if it's plural. So I can say three children took a hike in the woods. So I look at this word over here in parentheses, and I change it on the line to a plural. Two women led the hike. 
Okay, it doesn't make sense if I use the singular form, woman, like is written here. So I'm not going to write this exact word in the blank. I'm going to change it to a plural and write it in the blank. So two women led the hike. Okay, I need the plural. So look at three, four, and five. I'm going to read you the sentence by just saying blank, and you're going to look at this word in parentheses and change it to the plural form on the line. Ten blank were in the group. Number four, the hike hurt their blank. Number five, they found two baby blank. So make sure you change this word in parentheses to a plural. Letter B says, write a sentence using the plural form of the noun in parentheses. So you have to write a sentence using teeth instead of tooth so that you have a plural. Like, I lost two teeth over the weekend. Number seven, you're using the word child. So how can you write a sentence using child as a plural? Remember, the plural is children. Once you are done with your word work, go ahead and turn it in. Feel free to watch the video more than once or rewind to some parts um, where you might not have understood what to do the first time.